tonight's lesson is coming out of acronyms of success for aspiring business women and entrepreneurs. So if you don't have your copy, be sure to email us. We have a special until the 15th of this month, February 2011, uh, for $10, of course, plus shipping and handling. Um, you want to get this because we're going to be going through this quite a bit. Um, you're going to have two homework assignments tonight. First of all, we're going to talk about initiative. That's what chapter 7 is about. And then you're going to have a little homework at the end to do a self-contract that will speak to commitment. Mainly, your commitment to you. <laughs> you got to make a commitment. Just like you do to your boyfriend or your husband or your boo. You say, baby, I'm all yours. I'm going to spend time with you. I'm going to feed you and keep you warm and show up for you every day and ask you how you're doing and bring my best to you. That's what you have to do your dream. You have to court your dream, date your dream, marry your dream. Honey, be committed to your dream because it wants to be committed to you. Don't neglect it. <laughs> so show up every day. Okay, initiate. This book is so juicy. I have to read it myself. I still get pumped. Two years later, I still get pumped. But That's right. I still get pumped. <laughs> you know, it's a blessing when, when you allow uh, the Holy Spirit to endow you, to infuse you, to pour into you. And that's what I did. I was a willing vessel and I was able to write this book. So sometimes I read it and I'm like, wow, <laughs> that came through me. But that is just an awesome thing. That's a testimony that I had. When I couldn't talk, I started writing and I started praying and ideas started coming, concepts started coming, uh, success activities and uh, things like that started coming and I started writing and I just followed what God told me to do. So I still get juiced up. So tonight, if you have this book or today, if you already have this book, it's on page 83, chapter 7, Initiate. It simply says, it's one thing to have faith, support, connections and know-how, but Taking action, hello, action, <laughs> and showing initiative are steps that cannot be overlooked if you're looking to get success. So um, the Bible says faith without works is dead. So if you don't get up and do something, nothing will happen. If success was easy, everybody would have it. So get up off your rump, your booty, your ass, your rump, whatever, your behind, and do something, do something towards your dreams. Um, regardless of your culture, your background, your age, your gender, your religious belief, success cannot be obtained easily without taking initiative to make things happen. So make sure you get up, you show up, you, sh you step up, you do whatever you can to take one of your bite-sized goals and do something with it. Initiate a contact. Initiate a conversation. Initiate... Oh, I can't say it enough. So one of the activities on the back of this chapter here is to include your business card with every handshake. If you meet a person, be zoom this in and zoom it out so it doesn't cut off. I'm doing this by myself again. Let's see. <laughs> Hey, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> People can't be with me every night. <laughs> okay, so include a business card with every handshake. You meet people, anybody within three feet of you should receive a nice warm smile, a greeting, a handshake, and a business card. Ask people what they do. Get interested in what they do and then tell them your name, what you do, and how what you do can benefit them. So here's your homework assignment from Chapter 7. Get your business cards, nice ones of course and give them out every day do not go home without giving away at least seven business cards in fact make seven your number because seven is the number of completion and of course I like sevens because it's in my birthday 817 birthday August 17th don't forget it okay <laughs> so seven business cards for the next seven days you pass them out don't go home don't put your head on the pillow until you have put out seven business cards make seven contacts seven emails of uh, seven links <sighs> <laughs> whatever you have to do seven days the next seven days get seven business get your business in front of seven people a day and let's see how things turn around okay now 
the last part of your homework is a self-contract. And this is on page 107. I have this in PDF form. If you want it, send an email, leave a post, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you that for free. How about that? See, that's so sweet. Free. The self-contract is very important to make a commitment not only to your goals and your business, but to yourself. So create a self-contract and hold yourself accountable. Now, this is special. This is important here because you want to put an award a uh, process to this and a um, consequences. So the contract says I, fill in the blank, on this date make a commitment to myself to achieve blank, fill in the blank, by this date for the purpose of, fill in the blank, and by completing this I will gain, fill in the blank, my reward for keeping my commitment will be, my consequence for not commit keeping this commitment will be and uh, put some serious punishment on there like you punish your kids and you give you take their <laughs> their uh, their PlayStation away or whatever it is now these days my child is grown and gone bless the Lord but um, take yourself off of Facebook for three days as a punishment if you don't get your stuff done but I know you will so get the book um, get your commitment going. Don't forget your seven day, um, seven day, seven business cards a day. And don't forget to date your dream. Make a commitment. Call your dream up every day and say, I'm ready for you, baby. Sit down, spend some time, hug it. Look at your vision. Look at your journal. Look at your books that you're starting to write. So I'm excited for you and I'm, I'm excited that you are showing up for the calling that's on your life. I'm Miss Grace. Thanks for tuning in to the Severely Ambitious video blog. Pass this to your friends if they need some motivation. And don't forget, we have our author series coming up, so tune in for that. And we're also still choosing three people for February to do an action plan for. Bite-sized little steps that people can get things done in 20 to 30 minutes. So, thanks for tuning in. I love you, and success in all. Get on your grind, baby. <laughs>